tidying up and uh, uh, we are meeting again and uh, let me tell you that for me it is always a great pleasure to meet you uh, and to have an opportunity to exchange, uh, share with you uh, our feelings, uh, why this celebration is so important to Palestine, why it is a historic moment uh, and of course uh, uh, we wanted uh, you to uh, be with us at this uh, very uh, momentous event. Uh, let me at the outset uh, announce that uh, on the 11th uh, of uh, this month, in a matter of uh, a few days, uh, we will have the meeting of the Turkic uh, uh, leaders, uh, presidents of uh, Azerbaijan, uh, Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan for uh, For objective reasons, uh, President Erdogan uh, uh, has informed us that uh, he will not be able to, uh, to uh, be with us, but he is sending a very senior invited other Turkic-speaking countries, uh, some of them are sending their representatives, so it will be uh, um, an, uh, a regular event uh, where we will discuss the matters on our agenda. Basically, Turkey grouping uh, is about uh, sharing our common cultural heritage, our common history, uh, and of course uh, finding opportunities to uh, um, develop partnership and cooperation uh, in these areas and in new areas like economic, economy, trade, um, connectivity, as I was explaining this morning uh, in the uh, Law Academy of Kazakhstan. Uh, I am not going to give you a big uh, talk on uh, uh, history background. I'm not a historian. Uh, let me tell you straight, straightforwardly. Uh, it is not for me to make uh, a diplomatic or historic uh, uh, recourses uh, uh, with uh, uh, historic uh, analysis inclusion, but uh, of course, as a Kazakh a citizen, I am very proud uh, to share with you uh, my feelings and my thoughts. Uh, for a matter of accuracy, uh, we have uh, provided you with some uh, background material. There is uh, a nice album prepared uh, uh, for our friends, uh, uh, um, which uh, gives you an overview of historic. Uh, development uh, in this vast space of Eurasia. Uh, I have uh, placed an article in Astana Times with some emotions uh, on uh, the occasion of this uh, big celebration. And uh, I am sharing with you uh, the talking points which my colleagues prepared for you, which have some uh, 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 historic facts, uh, the chronology, uh, and uh, uh, our feelings uh, uh, of today. Uh, uh, let me uh, add also that on the 11th of uh, September, we'll also have a big uh, morning event devoted to the celebration of uh, uh, the 550th uh, anniversary of Kazakhanate. Uh, then uh, it will take place at 11 o'clock and uh, uh, ambassadors and members of the diplomatic corps are invited to this event. It will be kind of a... Uh, uh, open-ended uh, uh, scientific uh, event where science uh, academics will share views uh, and historians will share view, their views on the, on the occasion of this event. And in the, in the evening we'll have the gala presentation in the new uh, 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 very nice facility in Astana, the uh, Baris uh, Ice Arena. Uh, I don't know whether you have visited it or not, but uh, this is yet another addition to the beauty of Astana. So on the 11th in the evening, uh, ambassadors and their spouses uh, will be invited to this uh, evening event, which will take place uh, on the 7th of, uh, uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, in October, on the 9th of October, uh, we'll have um, another celebration of the same uh, event, uh, but it will take place in the south of Kazakhstan, in the city of Taraz. Uh, this is where uh, our uh, uh, Famous uh, sultans uh, proclaimed the Kazakh Hanate 550 years ago, uh, and uh, uh, we uh, uh, are still not, are not, are not sure whether we'll have the capacity to uh, invite the entire diplomatic corps to that event. Uh, but the central celebration will take place in Astana on the 11th of September, and uh, uh, you are kindly invited. Uh, as far as the event in Taras uh, on the 9th of uh, October is concerned, uh, we will uh, 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 let you know additionally. On the uh, 
historic uh, background of this event. Uh, once again, I don't want to uh, go into details, but uh, many of you uh, have read uh, uh, the uh, book of uh, uh, historians. Uh, some are quite recent, uh, some are from Europe, uh, but there are uh, multiple uh, sources uh, uh, in China, uh, in Iran, in Turkey, uh, in India, uh, and uh, they all recognize uh, that uh, this vast space, Eurasia, was uh, full of dynamism and uh, full of uh, active life uh, throughout millennia. Uh, Kazakh uh, Hanait, uh, which uh, dates back to 550 years, of course, is not the exact start uh, of uh, uh, this nation. Uh, simply, it is a very important uh, landmark in the history of uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the people who lived in this uh, vast Eurasian space. Uh, many, of course, of course, of us know uh, the uh, very uh, exciting uh, and maybe very turbulent uh, histories of nomadic tribes who resided uh, in this uh, huge Eurasian space, starting from the Saka tribes, which were referred by to in uh, the works of uh, Herodotus, uh, the Greek historian. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Sakas gave uh, a rise to many other uh, nomadic tribes, and uh, in including uh, among them uh, the, uh, uh, the Hans, the famous Hans. Attila the Han is very well, well known in Europe in particular. I remember uh, when uh, I remember my time in London and uh, in uh, the United States, in different audiences, I used to say that maybe Attila the Han is not the most popular figure uh, in the textbooks of uh, uh, European countries, but uh, we are very proud to have him uh, as our uh, great ancestor. Uh, uh, I uh, can recall even reading that uh, uh, the uh, emergence of modern Europe as we know it today, more or less, uh, was uh, very much <coughs> encouraged uh, by the collapse of the Roman Empire, which in its turn was encouraged by the uh, uh, big advances of Attila the Han uh, into Europe. So history, of course, is a very amazing topic. Uh, you can discover uh, so many things uh, about yourself uh, in the history. The beauty of history, of course, is uh, uh, not only in understanding your uh, roots, uh, but uh, understanding uh, how you, uh, these roots brought you to the present day uh, and uh, history uh, amazingly gives you a chance to cast a fresh look and look into the future. That's an amazing link of time. Uh, in the same manner, uh, uh, people who lived here, they were always uh, uh, trying to look back and retain whatever cultural uh, 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 and other uh, type of memory uh, was uh, retained. Uh, Nomas particularly were famous for uh, the oral culture, uh, therefore uh, we have a strong monuments of oral culture uh, which, uh, was which were inherited uh, throughout time, throughout centuries in the steppe. Uh, the Huns, the great Huns, were uh, succeeded by the Turks, uh, the Turkic uh, uh, Kaganate. Uh, we are meeting on the 11th uh, as the groups of Turkic uh, speaking countries. One group, the ninth branch, uh, uh, Oguzes, uh, traveled uh, to the small Asia, which we know today as uh, through culture, through uh, uh, material uh, uh, artifacts, through language, of course, uh, through sources uh, also refer to this part of the world, which they called uh, north of Amudarya and Sindarya as Turan. Turan uh, is uh, an ancient name uh, and differently belongs to the Eurasia steppe. So this is all about uh, uh, the origins of uh, this uh, celebration. Um, of course, uh, they were not only Sakas, they were not only uh, uh, Huns, they were not only uh, Turks. They were succeeded by numerous other tribes, um, Kangli, Kipchak, Suisu, etc., etc. This is all known in the history and in the historic uh, uh, academic books. Uh, but uh, this all merged into one uh, interesting culture, which is uh, one of the uh, most important uh, walks of life in the human civilization. 
nomadic uh, walk of life cannot be rejected. Uh, it is well respected as a contributor to overall uh, global historic humankind civilization. I again, uh, in my travel times uh, in uh, Europe and in the United States, I uh, jokingly reminded uh, that the fork we use uh, uh, in the daily life, uh, uh, where they come from, but the, uh, the concept uh, is again coming from the uh, Many uh, episodes like this uh, on which we can smile, but this part of the world uh, noticed that and reflected in their works. Um, and. Uh, 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 different names, uh, different uh, geographic and historic and cultural observations, of course, uh, constitute one common uh, heritage uh, for all of us. Therefore, we believe it is uh, only rewarding uh, that uh, Kazakhstan, uh, uh, being a new nation, uh, building a new history um, uh, at the beginning of the 21st century, looks back with pride, uh, looks back with uh, curiosity, uh, looks back with, uh, with the hope. Uh, uh, when we look back and when we scratch each other, uh, we discover that we come from the same mother, mother nature, and uh, this helps us uh, to better understand what we try to do today and uh, what we aspire to do tomorrow. Uh, that's one uh, important lesson which we all learn uh, from history. Um, of course, uh, marking the uh, uh, 550th anniversary uh, is uh, important from a uh, chronological point of view, from uh, um, a historic point of view, uh, but as I said, uh, that this date uh, was not the beginning of history and was not the end of the story. Uh, pollution, uh, uh, particularly difficult and challenging were uh, the 17th and 18th century, where the union of tribes, the Jungars, and uh, even uh, until today, we have uh, many references in our epics. In this challenging period in our history uh, um, brought up, uh, happened, took uh, more than uh, almost 150 years. It was uh, also an exciting, uh, challenging period. Uh, uh, there were uh, different emotions, uh, but eventually, uh, uh, in the middle of the uh, 19th century, Kazakhstan became part of uh, the Russian Empire. Uh, which was an emerging uh, power in the world those days, and through uh, that uh, uh, linkship, uh, Kazakhstan and uh, people who were uh, living here, they got an access to uh, Western culture, uh, Western elements of Western civilization. Then came the Soviet period, we all know. Uh, quite interestingly, uh, at the very start of the uh, uh, Soviet period, there was uh, uh, a new effort of uh, building a nation in, in uh, Kazakh steppes. I refer to Ala Shorda. Uh, uh, there was even a government uh, uh, formed by Ala Shorda, uh, Kazakh intellectuals who studied in Russia. Uh, some of them uh, got the European education. These were intellectuals, liberals in their thoughts, uh, uh, and uh, they tried to build uh, an autonomy uh, based on their beliefs and uh, their. Uh, uh, outlooks. Uh, that uh, episode in our history lasted uh, very little uh, because uh, the October Revolution uh, uh, embraced everything and uh, uh, the power of uh, the communist authorities uh, uh, brought new uh, elements in our history. Logical reasons uh, in the belief that uh, the medical of life was an outdated one and the people were tried to be industrialized but this was done with a lot of human suffering. And then uh, Kazakh nomads lost uh, millions of uh, uh, Very uh, hard uh, assault on its own population. Uh, and, are not, uh, and some of them are really ugly, like the uh, Algin camp here in Akola, uh, in terms of uh, the uh, betrayers of the motherland. Even the abbreviation was uh, difficult pages in our history. Uh, the Soviet period brought uh, uh, massive industrialization to this part of the world. Uh, education uh, was a must uh, in the Soviet period. So uh, that was uh, the other side of uh, the Soviet history. Uh, uh, the uh, famous uh, Khrushchev plans to uh, uh, reach up and overcome the United States in the production of corn, in the production of wheat, 
brought another uh, very challenging period in our history, the Virgin Lands uh, project. Uh, we are in the center of the uh, Virgin Land project, uh, Telinograd, as uh, uh, we know, knew it uh, those days, become, became the capital of uh, the Virgin Lands project by uh, uh, Chairman Khrushchev. Uh, Stalin uh, camps period uh, uh, had a very important uh, human uh, aspect uh, and impact on Kazakhstan. Thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people uh, were uh, found, particularly in the Stalin period, <coughs> and whole groups of people uh, were forced to move uh, under the pretense of their collaboration with uh, Nazis or others. Uh, therefore, we have huge communities of uh, entire groups of uh, people from Caucasus. Uh, uh, we have uh, a very tragic history of uh, there have been Koreans in Kazakhstan, for example, or Germans in Kazakhstan in three waves or more than uh, three waves. Uh, there were massive movements of people to Tselina, to Persian lands, where the uh, uh, Komsomol zeal uh, uh, and the uh, ideological call by the Communist Party forced many young, uh, dynamic and uh, boiling. Uh, we had uh, proud Sakas, Saka tribes, or Syrians, as the Greeks uh, used to call them. Uh, we had uh, Proud uh, Huns who reached, uh, uh, and of course, we had uh, uh, the very uh, great uh, Turkey Kaganate, uh, the territory of which the uh, Soviet Union that was the territory. Uh, the recent history was no less uh, uh, turbulent, heritage. therefore, uh, we cherish our history as it was. Uh, there was an ideological period when, uh, so uh, uh, when. Uh, uh, that ideological zeal uh, just uh, was uh, a little bit uh, subdued. Uh, independent research, uh, academic research was uh, uh, finding its way, and uh, there were many extremes uh, in, during the early uh, historic researches. Uh, some would say that the, the center of universes, uh, Eurasia, let them boil down to a very serious and balanced approach, uh, and uh, there is no uh, other approach to history. You cannot pick up events in history, pick up uh, periods in history and uh, base uh, your present day and uh, the future just on this selective approach. You should take the history as it is. Uh, it is your history, it is the history of your nation and uh, you should be proud of it. Uh, uh, the history has another big, big value. It gives you and teaches you lessons. And the lessons we teach uh, uh, are enormous. Eurasia and the steppe was always the place of uh, uh, where different cultures, uh, outlooks, trends, uh, behaviors crisscrossed. Criss therefore, uh, uh, therefore, it is even reflected in our features here uh, in Kazakhstan. You can find people of different uh, features, but most importantly, uh, there was an important uh, impact uh, on the mentality of people here. Uh, the steppe was always open to different ideas. Uh, some of them were uh, uh, progressive, some of them were not that progressive. Uh, the step was uh, home to different uh, religions. Uh, even Nestorianism was here, uh, Buddhism, uh, uh, different forms of Islam, uh, pre-Islamic beliefs, uh, uh, Tengrianism. These are all, uh, step was uh, the home to, to all of them. And uh, people who, living, uh, who were living in the steps they embraced all these ideas. They put them through their guts and uh, they digested them and uh, produced something which we uh, find today in our people. Uh, no one denied that uh, uh, tolerance is a reality in Kazakhstan. No one denied that hospitality is a reality in Kazakhstan. No one denied that uh, general friendship is a reality in Kazakhstan. And this is a mentality which we inherited from our history. This turbulent, uh, very patchy, very multicolored history, uh, which we uh, will celebrate on the 11th of September. Of September. Uh, that episode in Taras, when uh, our two famous Hans uh, pronounced the Kazakh Hanid, was an episode in, in our history, but it was, uh, we celebrated as an important landmark uh, 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 from which uh, we uh, can uh, uh, see and look back uh, and embrace the entire a huge uh, 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 historic period of uh, evolution in the steppe, uh, from a nomadic walk of life, early nomadic walk of life, uh, which was one of the early walks of life of, of a human being, uh, until today. 
uh, where we try and aspire to build modern society uh, with modern means of uh, uh, living. Uh, and uh, it's amazing how uh, these uh, things can be uh, uh, linked to each other. Therefore, uh, the celebration uh, we uh, will uh, have uh, uh, is not just a, a, a token of uh, our uh, kind of empty pride. Uh, no, on the, uh, on the contrary, uh, it has a very serious uh, substance. Uh, as I said, uh, history has one uh, great feature, it teaches lessons. Uh, and I'm not discovering uh, America for you. Uh, each and every nation has its own history, and each and every nation is very proud of its history. And uh, it happens so that uh, if you look, uh, you will discover that our histories are linked together. Uh, there are so many linkages uh, uh, to ancient times when uh, uh, the old Silk Road in the times of uh, uh, late Turks uh, started to emerge. Uh, and we are talking today about the Silk Road. It's amazing how we go back into history and learn that lesson. Learn that connectivity was the uh, vital element uh, for survival and development uh, of uh, uh, human beings who live together uh, in, the, uh, in neighborhoods. Uh, we, uh, of course, have so many linkships uh, with uh, uh, our brothers in Russia and actually uh, people uh, inhabiting Russia and the steppe, uh, they all come from uh, the same origin. They were always living together. And uh, if you uh, read uh, the famous book by Olzhar Sulemenov, Slova Polku Igorvi, you will see the amazing uh, kaleidoscope of uh, links uh, and relationships, uh, uh, very fruitful, uh, exciting between the steppe and uh, the early Russia. Uh, the same we can say about uh, relations between Turan and Iran. Uh, there were famous stories about uh, the Queen Tamiris uh, and uh, 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 the rulers of uh, Persia. Uh, we find uh, many similarities in our languages. Uh, uh, many uh, Persian-speaking uh, tribes were residing in the south of uh, Eurasia steppe. And of course, uh, uh, there are uh, millennia-long relationships uh, to the east of the steppe because the east of the steppe was part of Eurasia too, uh, which is modern China today. And uh, of course, uh, we have to recall the famous period of Mughals in, uh, in India. Uh, there was no Pakistan in India in those days. It was Great India, and uh, the famous uh, dynasty of Baburs uh, is uh, world famous. Who doesn't know Taj Mahal? Uh, the beauty of the world and the, the masterpiece of uh, 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 people uh, residing uh, in India, but who were influenced and had the origins uh, again in the Eurasian state. So this is part of our history, uh, and uh, we are sitting today, uh, today uh, representing a huge geography of the world. Um, uh, and uh, we uh, are very proud to uh, have you with us uh, here, uh, particularly at the moment when Kazakhstan uh, is uh, making its strides uh, towards uh, uh, its uh, future. We may be uh, very ambitious in uh, drawing our future for ourselves. Uh, we try to look as far as uh, 2050, because no human being uh, would know for sure uh, what will happen even tomorrow. But we have the power of the dream. The power of the dream is uh, the most important uh, driver uh, in our lives. And uh, an amazing fact is that uh, this power of the dream uh, cannot be uh, uh, generated and energized without uh, the uh, deep value of history. This is the leadership we have, and uh, uh, this is uh, the most important uh, emotional substance of the situation we are going to have. Therefore, I would like to thank you once again uh, for this uh, patience. Uh, I know that you have your busy schedules, but uh, we decided that uh, a, collo a collective travel into our histories would be an, uh, an excellent exercise. As I said, we all have uh, huge uh, uh, histories of which we should be proud. Uh, and we do this, uh, and uh, we as diplomats uh, should, uh, of course, understand it uh, uh, in a more uh, kind of uh, emotional way, because we are at the forefront of our uh, uh, governments, our people,
our nations, and of course, uh, 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 without understanding the history and the importance of uh, the relationship of, between history and the present day and the future, of course, uh, 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 makes diplomacy much more weaker. Therefore, uh, I uh, would like to uh, um, uh, commend uh, you for your efforts uh, uh, as a representative of your government here. Uh, uh, commend you for trying to understand uh, what the government of Kazakhstan and the people of Kazakhstan are trying to do uh, in their future plans. Thank you and commend you for your efforts to understand our people, uh, our history, our origin, uh, our culture. Uh, uh, thank you and commend you for uh, engaging with our uh, public and population through different means, uh, like we had today in the law university through uh, this type of initiatives or otherwise inviting uh, our people to your embassies or going to their events, mingling with our people and uh, being part of them. Uh, this is the job of diplomats and uh, you serve a dual mission, carrying your message to our nation and taking uh, the message you hear from our people to your nations. That's uh, the job of diplomats and this is what I'm trying to do today too. Uh, I want to uh, salute you and uh, 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 tell you that uh, the coming fall uh, will be quite busy. Uh, uh, we all prepare for the uh, 70th anniversary of the United Nations. Uh, debates uh, uh, will be uh, quite uh, uh, substantial, we hope, and we also hope that uh, this uh, debate will result and uh, will provide a new agenda for all of us, uh, for our governments. Uh, of course, uh, the approach to the General Assembly is quite uh, uh, challenging, uh, whether the Lord is uh, 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 causing uh, lots of questions. Uh, the economic angle is also uh, not that bright uh, if you take the global uh, economic and financial situation. Uh, our neighborhoods are uh, in uh, turmoil uh, in many ways. Uh, if you take uh, Afghanistan, if you take uh, 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 Ukraine, if you take uh, Middle East, if you take Europe, uh, we are now all taken by the emotions of the European uh, uh, migration crisis. Uh, of course, uh, as I told today, uh, the climate change is another challenge. I just came back from uh, a Fiji summit uh, of uh, small island Pacific states, and really uh, visiting this type of events uh, makes you feel completely the, um, the challenges uh, of uh, the climate change uh, and the threat and reach your government's uh, every success uh, after the uh, United Nations General Assembly and uh, uh, there will be many uh, events uh, both bilateral and multilateral uh, our calendar here will be full of events uh, we'll try, try to keep you busy with you uh, there are a number of topics uh, before uh, we travel to the United Nations, I hope to see you again to uh, uh, talk with you uh, about what's going to happen in New York. And uh, I would hope that we'll have a discussion here. Today I heard from the Indian ambassador and other ambassadors uh, of the aspirations uh, for the uh, United Nations General Assembly. Uh, we have uh, an event related to OEC, uh, 40th anniversary. This year is the uh, dual anniversary of two important uh, organizations. Uh, you, uh, uh, and uh, really um, agree uh, uh, that this uh, exercise should be done, then uh, the ramping will be uh, successful. Uh, regional events uh, will happen to Champlain, hopefully. The uh, Security Council Summit, uh, the Collective Security Organization uh, Summit, all the events uh, in Tajikistan are uh, problematic. The uh, uh, Summit of the Eurasian Economic Commun uh, 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 Union, uh, on the eve of that, uh, we uh, uh, we'll be president of Afghanistan, president of Brazil, uh, uh, and uh, if I missed out someone, uh, forgive me, uh, but uh, as you see, the plate uh, is full and uh, calls for 